I made a video recently about what to do after the Google Photos free period ends from June this year. I showed both cloud storage and hardware options in that video, but this video will go into detail of cloud storage. So let's look at the best options out there. First one, if you like to stick with the same Google Photos experience, I would recommend going with Google One. Now on my phone, they're showing that give me three months for free or 400 gigabytes and that's where normally I would start. By the way, if you do not pay for Google One and the Google Photos period ends, you still get 15 gigabytes worth of data, which is good for about. Hey Google, how many photos can you store in 15 gigabytes? Sorry, I don't have any information about that. So I think that 15 gigabytes is good for three to four months, depending on who you are. So the first paid plan that they have is a $2 per month plan for 100 gigabytes or $20 a year for the same plan, 100 gigabytes. So you get basically two months off. The second plan is $3 a month for 200 gigabytes or $30 a year to get 200 gigabytes. I think that's the best value from the bunch. The third plan that they have is $10 a month for two terabytes of storage or you can pay $100 a year to get the two terabyte plan for the whole year so you get two months off again. Now with Google One you still get to use Google Photos and all that so you're probably familiar with the interface and you get to continue where you left off without changing applications. Second option is Microsoft OneDrive. Now everyone knows Microsoft. Now Microsoft will give you five gigabytes for free but that's not much for photos and videos, but it's something. Now the plans start at $2 per month for 100 gigabytes. Unfortunately, there's no yearly plan for that option. The second plan that they have is $6 per month for a terabyte of storage, and you can pay $60 a year to get the full year and two months off. The third plan that they have, and that's a family one, the family plan starts at $8 a month or $80 a year for one terabyte per account for six persons. So if you're looking to spend money on storage, I think that's the best way to go because you can split the cost between family members or friends. The third well-known company in the list is Dropbox. Now Dropbox gives you two gigabytes for free, which is nothing compared to the other two. But not only they're giving the least amount of free storage to you, they're actually charging you more compared to the other two companies that we looked at. They're charging $120 a year for a two terabyte plan. Compared to Google, that's 20 to 30% more expensive. So I'd rather recommend you go with Google unless you really need Dropbox. Now let's look at newer companies that are in this space. The first one is called Dubox Cloud Storage and Backup. They do give you one terabyte of free storage, which is a stark contrast to Dropbox. It is still an open beta, but their app does support uploading the photos directly from your phone as you take them. While the caveat being it's a relatively new company, something can happen to it and you might lose your data. Now this Dubox one is an open beta, so the one terabyte storage might be reduced to something very less, say 15, 20 or maybe 100 gigabytes because in open beta, there's not many users, so keep that in mind. So the fifth one on the list is Degoo Cloud Storage. Now this company gives you 100 gigabytes of free storage and the apps shown on the screen. Now 100 gigabytes is very respectable. This company is not in a beta stage or anything and their paid plans are also no slouch. So they offer 500 gigabytes for $3 a month and $10 a month gets you 10 terabytes. That's a heap of data. Now those are the five globally available options. Now let's look at some of the region-based options, GeoCloud. Now this is exclusively available to people in India and also subscribers of Reliance Geo. They offer 50 gigabytes of cloud storage for free to every user that is subscribed to their phone connection. But the catch is they don't have a paid plan. They give you 50 gigabytes. <laughs> so there are no paid plans on Reliance Geo but you can earn 50 gigabytes per referral to your friend or family permanently in your account as you refer to. So it's a good way to gather up free cloud storage. The last one we're gonna look at is the good old Amazon Photos. Now Amazon Photos is part of Amazon Prime, but not in all countries. Say US, Australia, Canada, they have Prime and it is included with it. But say for example in India, Amazon Photos is not included. Now what is Amazon Photos? It gives you unlimited original quality photos backup and 10 gigabytes of video backup, which is similar to Yandex 
which I made a video about right here. But in my opinion, Amazon is a more trustworthy company compared to Yandex. We all know we haven't heard of Yandex before. All that said, Amazon Photos might launch in India in Q2 according to some rumors. So conclusion, which one should you use? Well, it depends on your situation. If you are a Google Pixel client, you get a three months trial for 100 gigabytes on Google One. If you're a Microsoft Office 365 subscriber, you don't need to do anything. You get a terabyte directly and you can start using it. If you're a customer of Reliance Geo in India, also you don't need to do much. And if you're a Prime member in any of these countries, you don't really have to do anything apart from the video backup. And my general advice for this video is don't have all your data in one spot. Have a copy of it somewhere, even in a cloud. So if you're planning to use Dagu or Dubox or Google One, don't have all your photos in just one place. The rule for backup is always have two copies minimum and the copy on your phone doesn't count. It has to be on a safe backup location. So that's a wrap. Thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to give a thumbs up if this helped you. Share it with your friends. Leave a comment if you have a question or a suggestion. And check out my other videos up on the screen. Subscribe and ding the bell and I'll see you guys in the next one.